tuning in. You know, it's been all this fucking shit lately, all of... Oh, for Christ's sake, shut the fuck up. You know, there's been all this fucking shit lately, hasn't there? All over Facebook, YouTube videos even about it. I even read a fucking article about it today at fucking work in the canteen in the Metro paper. You know? Uh, uh, Axel Rose has replaced Brian Johnson in ACDC. <laughs> fucking people in Germany are demanding the fucking money back. Because we didn't pay good money to see the world's biggest band fronted by X Guns N' Roses lead singer. What the fuck's the matter with you people? Who the fuck do you think replaced fucking Bon Scott in 1980? Brian fucking Johnson, you morons! Fucking Bon Scott choked to death on his own vomit, right? In 1980. The very same year, they recruited a new lead singer, Brian Johnson. And the very same year, 1980, they released their new album with new singer, Back in Black. There wasn't a big fucking outcry about it then, was there? So what's the fucking difference now? Jesus, the doctors... Experts have warned Brian Johnson if he tours again, he's going to go fucking deaf. And ACDC, they don't find a replacement, they're going to split up. Is that what you want? What about Iron Maiden, right? 1980, 1981, the first two albums. Iron Maiden, 1980, Killers, 1981. Lead singer, Paul Diano. He left in 1981 or 82 to pursue a solo career to be replaced by the Samson frontman Bruce fucking Dickinson. There was a load of fucking shit about that either, was there? What about Deep Purple, right? The first four albums featured fucking Rod Evans on vocals, right? Nicky Simper on bass. Granted, they weren't a big band at the time. I mean, it was Deep Purple in rock that really put them on the map in 1970, wasn't it? Featuring Deep Purple Mark II, the most famous lineup they ever had in the day. Blackmore, Gill and Glover, Lord and Pace. And when Ian Gillen and Glover left in fucking 1973 to be replaced by David Coverdale and fucking ex-trapeze bassist Glenn Hughes, nobody bad a fucking eyelid! So what's the fucking different about it now? What about fucking... What about Black Sabbath? Ronnie James Dio replaced Ozzy Osbourne in 1980. You know, he was only on two studio albums, but nobody fucking batted an eyelid then either. What about Fleetwood Mac in 1975? Peter Green fucking went insane, so, you know, Stevie Nicks, Christine McVeigh and fucking Lindsay Buckingham and took over, didn't they? Nobody cared. But everyone suddenly cares about this ACDC thing. Why? What a rainbow. In the day, they had three fucking lead singers. Ronnie James Dio left. Wait, Blicky Blackmore had a habit of sacking his own fucking band members, didn't he? Because he managed Rainbow. Got rid of Dio. Replaced him with fucking Graham Bonnet, who only lasted on one album, fucking Down to Earth, 1979. And he fucking left. Blackmore kicked him out because he thought his hair was too short and he wore colourful fucking Hawaiian shirts, not to rack some up Blackmore's taste. And then when Bonnet left... He was replaced by Joe Lynn Turner. Bloody, bloody, but nobody fucking cared. Oh, they've got a new singer. Oh, I can't wait to hear them. But no, what's, what, what is it with this ACDC thing? They've got a new fucking singer. Give him a fucking chance. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not a Guns N' Roses fan. I've, I don't even fucking like them. I'm not even a massive ACDC fan, to be honest with you. I'm just sick of all this fucking childishness. <laughs> He's not going to be nowhere near as good as Brian Johnson. Well, I've got news for you. 
Ryan Johnson wasn't even the fucking original ACDC singer, was he? Oh, God, I've had enough of this. I'm going to fucking bed. See ya. Oi, mate! I'm trying to get some fucking sleep, you bastard!